Hey, me and Matt here, and this color Kyle, and welcome to another play by play. Yeah, got Slammiversary this time, uh -huh. and should be a really good show, actually. Yeah, and they're just running through, I guess, every episode or show from Impact, which I think is awesome. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, they're more or less going over the history of. Impact from you know, humble beginnings to where it is now, and yeah, like Joseph Park, we saw. You know, you see Ken Shamrock. This is like NWA days. Yeah. So I mean, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, it's gonna be a good show, and hopefully we'll get through it. Yeah, but. Anyways, here we go. Oh, we got the Ultimate X match opening up. Yeah. X Division Ultimate X match. Trey Miguel, Josh Alexander, Chris Bale, Hugh Raju, PD Williams. Williams. Yeah, man. That's a hell of a way to start the show. Yeah. And we'll see if our prediction was right, but shit, this is gonna be amazing. Yeah, and you know, we haven't seen this in a while, so it's gonna be interesting to see what happens. Oh, for sure. Can well, I get a hell yeah? Well, we had different ideas about who would take the title uh, if Josh didn't retain. We both agreed Josh would retain, and there you go. Fucking good match. Fuck. Come on, I'm serious right now. He had a fucking. Turn Destroyer! You had... Oh, well, I think Heath Rashew was very impressive in this match. Yes. You know, I... Uh, that was intense, and for the first match of the night... Uh, that's how you set the tone for the evening. Yep, yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. Yep. Well, we have... A mix take match. We've got Brian Myers and Tanil Dashwood versus Matt Cardona and a mystery partner. In fact, tonight there's going to be a lot of mystery partners. Yeah, there's the mix tag match with the mystery partner. TJP is not going to be at Slam Reversal, so follow Baz's partner as a mystery. And we also have the defense of the knockout chip by Diana Perrazzo, and who her opponent is, no clue. Yeah. So we'll keep you posted as things roll on. Oh, surprises are always interesting. Sometimes they're a good thing. Yeah. Well, that was an obvious who the take team partner for Matt Cardona was. I mean, yes and no. Because you hear, like, they gave the lead up to the match, and Scott Demore was talking with Cardona, and he's like, Do you think you can find a partner against Myers and Dashwood? And he's like, Cardona's like, I think now's our time. like, Oh, good, it's be a hot mess. And it's like, Okay, you would automatically think. Of Chelsea Green, Laurel Van Ness, but it's like he could have just said that, at, like as a tease, and it could have been so many other people. Yeah. And you know, in the Facebook Live we did, we were talking about couples in wrestling. Well, that's you know mentioned Cardona and. Chelsea. Yeah. And we saw Chelsea at Best in the World. We even talked about it at the play by play. And it's like, okay, she's a Ring of Honor. Cool. Now, either this is, you know, come in for this match with Slammiversary, tag with Cardona, and then, you know, either go back to Ring of Honor or maybe. It was just an appearance of Ring of Honor, and she's gonna, you know, compete 
the time with Impact? We don't know for sure, but hell, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's nice that they went with her real name, you'd say, instead of going back to Laurel Van Dash, but still, you know, cool to see Chelsea Green and Cardona partner together. And, you know, Cardona was going to go for a fist bump, and she's like, no, come here, hold them in for a kiss. Like, all right, yeah, you know they're dating. Well, actually, they're married now, but yeah. yeah. Very cool. And also, the throw back to the Major Brothers when they were with Edge. Adam Copeland, obviously. Edge Hedge. Edge Hedge, yes. The spear that Brian was going to deliver, which turned into Matt, who delivered the spear. And that's the second time that we had a shout out from Edge, or for Edge, I should say. Yeah. Because of Christian doing that to Matt Hardy last week. Yeah. So. This was a really good match, and I mean, she also did her version of the Canadian Destroyer. Yeah. So, I mean, this was good. They obviously won the match. Mm hmm So, woo woo woo. You know it. And by the sounds of things, up next is W. Morrissey against Eddie Edwards. That should be interesting. <laughs> yeah. A moment of silence for Eddie Edwards. Wow. I mean, a battle of a fight put up by Eddie, but, you know, with a guy like W. Morrissey that's literally willing to do anything and everything, even resorting to, you know, the old school chain wrapped around the fist to get the win, you know, it is what it is, and, you know, he's that, you know, ideal heel, and, yeah. That's, yeah, it's insane. And I think that Eddie Edwards tried. He really did. Oh, yeah. He even overpowered W. Morrissey at one point, but... Yeah. That's, well, you, know, you know what they say. You can't teach that. Hell, yeah. So, it looks like we got an impromptu tag team match. Yep. Madman Fulton Shira against Finn Juice. Yes, that's gonna be a, a good match for sure. Yeah. And I mean, we haven't seen Finn Juice in a while. Yeah. I think we talked about them yesterday in one of our reviews. Yeah. Well, probably the Slammiversary one. So. Yeah. It was Finn Juice that retained the tag titles and rematch against the Good Brothers. Yeah. And then the picture shot trophy was cast in by Violent by Design, Jill Doring, and Rhino, and they're the tag champs right now. Right. Yeah, so the surprises just keep on rolling. I'm not really surprised. It was a quick match. He got other matches to get to, so I mean, and cool to see Finn Juice, and I mean, you know, with Shira and Fulton jaw jacking with each other. Like, they're not getting to get along long enough to, you know, work as a cohesive unit and get a win. Still, though. Yeah, I mean, Finn Juice is always impressive, and yeah, this was no different. Yeah. So, I mean, Juice Robinson got the win. We'll see what happens from there. Yeah. Well, we got this match, Moose and Chris Saban, so. Yep. Should be interesting to see. What happens here? I mean, we thought Matt Moose is gonna win. Yeah. And so, I mean, I still pick that. I'm sure you still pick that. Yeah. If Saban has a surprise, then, you know, that would be interesting, but. For sure. That's not gonna be Moose. Yeah. It's gonna be a good match for sure, you know. Oh, yeah. Well, that just fucking happened. Wow. Ha <laughs> ha Wow. I mean, Moose definitely destroyed Saban, especially with those chops. Oh, fuck yeah. You know, doing like a power bomb to the apron, doing the swing thing on the barricade. Shit. Yeah. I, I mean, I fucking. Wow, that's crazy. 
Chris Saban just made moose meat. I, I don't know what else to say. That's insane. Oh, looks like the pre-show happened, and that's okay that we missed it, but... Yeah. You have new tag team champion knockouts. Tag team champions, Rosemary and Havoc. What the fuck did we say in the production video? Yeah. Called it. You yeah. have a match for the tag team titles. Violent by Design defending against the Good Brothers. What was supposed to be TJP and Fall Above, but TJP's not there, so whose Fall is a partner going to be, we don't know. And Swan and yeah, Swan and Mac, yeah, Fall Above and whoever his partner is going to be. The Good Brothers. The Good Brothers. So, interesting match, more surprises. I can't wait to see who the partner is for Fall Above. Alrighty then. That's all you need to know. Basically. Ah, oh, that was a good match. And I mean, Doc Gallows, Luke Gallows, whatever. Big, yeah. big LG. Man, those roundhouse kicks. Oh yeah. Shit. And I mean, the Doring and Rhino tried to keep their titles. Yeah. Obviously. I haven't seen a match like this in a while, so it was kind of weird that you could take anybody that you wanted. Yeah. But, yeah. Your new tag team champions, and once again, the Good Brothers. Also want to mention the debut of No Way Jose. That's right. Followed by his surprise partner. And, well, I haven't seen him in years. Yeah. Since his NXT days, and it's like, he may have been on... One of Raw or SmackDown, I don't remember. Right. But, yeah, No Way Jose, and looks better than ever, you know? Oh, yeah, he still looks good. So you got Chelsea Green, you got No Way Jose. Now, Diana Perrazzo, and... Whoever, you also had the return of Finn Juice as well. Yeah. Damn, this night's good. Yep. And it's still going strong. You. Yeah. Oh, has me on. Wow. Yeah. So, I don't know what your prediction was. I obviously... Well, we didn't even talk about this match. No, we didn't. When we did the Slam Reverse predictions. And there was no way of making a prediction, not knowing who the opponent was going to be. Yeah, I know. So, Thunder Rosa was the one to challenge Diana for the Knockout Championship. Damn good match. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. Diana was able to retain, so she is still on top. Hell yeah. She's back. Hardcore country. Fuck. It just keeps getting better and better. It's slam anniversary. What can you expect? Oh, yeah. But Mickey James is on impact again. And it's funny how Thunder Rosa as an NWA wrestler, but you got Mickey James, who apparently was going to put on a tournament on NWA. Right. Like, she talked to Billy Corgan and whatever, but yeah, she's back. And you know, I had mentioned about Scott Moore and having a conversation with John about this match, and he gave some, you know, little one-liners and some, like, hints as to certain things, but he basically foretold who would be on tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. It's main event time, and of course you've got Stonehenge coming out to You Got Fired. Yep. But Kenny Omega's coming out now. Yeah. With Don Callis, and then of course we're gonna see the death machine of Sammy Callahan. Yep. So, yeah, this is gonna be cool. Yeah, for sure. The whole night's been pretty cool. And with Mickey James, it was, you know, she talked about how she's an EVP or an EP of NWA Power, and she invited Diana to 
this thing for NWA, the tournament, if you will. Yeah. And Gianna's like, you're talking about how you have respect for me, but yet you won't let me have my mullet, and they started shoving each other, and then Mickey kicked her, and it's like, okay. Yeah. That could lead to something, who knows. Well, like I said, now, you know, she's back, and she might very well be. Yes, NWA is still in business, but they should be interesting. Yeah, for sure. Oh my god. References. Undertaker, Red Flair, Hulk Hogan. Oh yeah. Shit. Matt Stryker is awesome. <laughs> Holy shit! I mean, you had tables, you had thumbtacks, you had a pizza cutter, you had a fork. You know, you had everything at the kitchen sink. And, I mean, you talked for a while. <laughs> Damn good match, you know, first time in a long time, see. Two people bleeding in a match, and oh. you know, trash cans, tables, wet floor signs, you know, barbed wire, thumbtacks, particle board, plywood, whatever the fuck it was. Yep, yep, yep. Damn good match. Oh. It was so fucking close. But, you got thumbtacks and colored hands mouth. You have the knee of Omega, then the one-winged angel, and yeah, Kenny Omega retains. Yeah. So, unfortunately, it didn't go the way that I wanted, but hey, yeah. what a fucking show. Hell yeah. That was the best thing ever. Like, I, mm, hey, you don't see that too much on Impact either. Yeah. So. But, anyways, this was a good show and a, a, a hell of a mean event. Yeah. So, obviously. Whoa. What is this? Be right a minute. What? Yeah, swiftly. Fucking Jay right. White. He's here, Jay White. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. So, what a fucking show. Slime of First Way was great. For me and Matt, this is Killer Kyle. Join us. Well, actually, I can't do that, but... We'll figure out something for tomorrow, money in the bank wise. So, we will talk to you next time. Too fucking sweet. You know that them cutting WCW was a long time coming. But, you know, I think that there's this myth out there that Jamie Keller... Gnarly. That's why he took pleasure in cutting WCW. I don't think that's the case at all. If you look at some of his earlier interviews, that's...